My name is Aiste, I'm a food writer and I have a blog called Lexit. I'm visiting Roketsu today to learn everything about umami. Hi, hey, hey, how, you doing? how are you? Good, thanks. I'm Dr. Johnny Drain, I'm a scientist and food okay. consultant and I'm here today to discover how umami is created in these dishes. Oh, thank you. Oh, it's a beautiful sake. Mm. Stunning. And look how beautiful are the, the sake ceramics. cups. Mm, so, so light. Where is your false course? Is ready? Thank you very much. Well, so this is sake zuke. So the very first course of the menu tonight. Amazing. First bite, how was it? Amazing. Lots of umami, I mm. would say. <laughs> 本日はえ、お二方にま、旨味をテーマにした料理ということなんですけど、楽しんでいただければなと思ってます。Obviously we have tofu yeah. made from soybeans yeah. and soybeans are contain a lot yeah. of umami. But the, the key umami amplifier here is tomatoes. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so, so you know, we're going to eat yeah. a kaiseki dinner tonight. Yeah. What is kaiseki and how is it different from other Japanese food? Kaiseki is a traditional multi-course meal in Japan originating from tea ceremony. Mm -hmm. Something to eat with your tea, so your stomach wouldn't be empty. Right. Uh, but over the years it has elaborated into a, a complex and very, sometimes very extravagant meal. Mm. And I would say the modern kaiseki is a mix of, uh, of um, tea ceremony, the food that you would have with, with tea, or court food, or even food that samurais would have. So it's a real mix. So it started off as like a snack just with yes, a drink and exactly. now it's a whole very elaborate dinner. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, if, am I right in saying there's lots of like symbolism and things to do with nature and the seasons involved in the courses? Yeah, so Kaisek is very seasonal and um, what I love about Hayashi-san who opened here one year ago, he is really celebrating the seasonal local ingredients, mm. so seasonal British ingredients or ingredients that you can find in, in, in Great Britain. Yeah. And um, yeah, it's, uh, it's very seasonal and also it's, uh, it's so kind of ritualized, I don't know if you can say that, yeah. uh, that every course has its own uh, name. So for example, we just had the Clementine Miso, yeah. Uh, which is called sakizuke, which is kind of uh, an appetizer, like an amuse bush. Mm -hmm. uh, then our next dish will be hasun, which represents the season and uh, the creativity of the chef. Well, so this hasun is always uh, representing the season. So we are showing the basically the winter season in this one plate. So the selection of seasonal ingredients in the seasonal presentation as well. So we've got uh, six different spaces there. Just the colors and the smell. It's all very delicate and beautiful. I do think that to enjoy kaseki to you, you need to understand Japanese cuisine. Mm -hmm. But coming back to umami, uh, it, I know it comes, the concept comes from Japan, mm. uh, but we've always had umami in, in our Western cuisines, starting from colatura in, in the Roman times, right? Which gives a boost of umami. Absolutely, so there are the ingredients that give umami to dishes in, in Japan. We have those or similar ingredients, so yeah. you know, cabbages, the humble cabbage yeah. has a lot of glutamic acid, seaweeds. Mm. You look all along the British coast and people traditionally in Britain used to eat much more seaweed yeah. than we do now, so uh, lava bread from Wales. Mm. And it's kind of gone out of fashion a little bit, but I think people yeah. are starting to see seaweed as, as this new hero ingredient. The same thing with fungi, all of the different mushrooms, yeah. and when you dry mushrooms you can really um, amplify the, their umami giving yeah. abilities. Then there's like the meat, so chicken can give lots of um, umami character and then shellfish as well. So what is umami? It's a sense of savouriness mm -hmm. in the foods we eat, so in dashi or in tomatoes or in parmesan or in, in mushrooms. Yeah. yeah, right here is on mukozuke. 
uh, as I just said, this is sashimi course for screwing in other words. So the fresh fish of the day. And so these combinations, things, uh, you know, like we've had lots of fish and vegetables already. Yeah. Uh, the, these are combos that you would classically see in a kaiseki dish. Well, no, mushroom really depends on, on the season. Mm. But um, sashimi course, yes. Yeah. It's, and it's usually uh, in, a, in the special order. Okay. So you'd, or, you would often get a sashimi course at this point? Oh, yes. Or always? Always. Okay. Yes, always. Right, okay. <laughs> That's the beauty of Kaiseki. That's, it's really the showcase of the chef's skills, yeah. the seasonality, mm -hmm. and uh, the local ingredients. Right. And, and also the, the vessels and the plates. Okay. So very, the very important right. um, aspect of Kaiseki. Uh -huh. Look how beautiful they are. Yeah. So this would change, change with each season. Yes. Uh, this plate uh, using only this month. Yeah. Like, uh, for example, why it is snow? Yes. We changed every month. Okay. The menu and yeah. plate. Beautiful. <laughs> we try uh, sea bass with kombucha meat. Ah, oh, with this one. Uh, yes. Okay. Thanks. This one, she This one? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Kong seaweed has uh, glutam uh, glutaminate. Oh. Glutaminate, okay, yeah. And then uh, sea bass, inosinate. Inosinate, okay, yeah. Uh. Mm. Yeah, so Hayashi Sen's paired those two things mm -hmm. very intentionally. It's incredible, so nice. Yeah. Sea the sea bass has this, what we call inosinate. Yeah. Which is something called a nucleotide, mm -hmm. so it's, you know, a, a building block of life. It's just. Mm -hmm. things that are in our bodies and, and in the bodies of sea bass and then um, the seaweed has the glutamate and mm -hmm. when you combine those two it's more than just adding them it goes yeah. so you have all of this richness around your mouth Amazing. this deep savoriness incredible and actually the quality of seafood is amazing in the in the united kingdom yeah yeah and it's the I would say it's one of the best in the world I think yeah. even British people don't know that. <laughs> they don't. We're yeah, so exactly. spoiled. Yeah. They don't know, yes. Yeah. 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 So the kombu we use in this restaurant, it's called Kuragakoi Kombu from uh, Hokkaido. And we get the kombu from that <laughs> wow. Wow. small island. Thanks. Amazing. So Kuragakoi means uh, basically stored or matured in the cellar. So this kombu seaweed has been matured in uh, no light, based no direct sunlight, and temperature controlled, yeah. and wrapped with straw for three years. Three years, yeah. wow. Three years. Yeah. Incredible. This is a wagyu beef, next, co next course. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, we marinate it with a lot of vegetable, uh, broccoli, paprika, onion, ginger, garlic, carrot, and one more thing. Oh, oh mama. mama. <laughs> This is an umami surprise, yeah, right? Yeah, very much umami, this one. So why did you use the mama? Yeah. <laughs> of course, uh, umami, a lot of umami. <laughs> You knew we were coming, right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. um, marmite marinate with uh, wagyu beef. And ha do you have you used marmite before in the the marinades? Uh, no. Yeah, it's first time. Yeah. Okay. Special. <laughs> Incredible. So this is wagyu in marmite. Yeah, and vegetable. And vegetable, and it's going to go on the grill. Yeah. Please try this taste. I try it with the uh, spoons, okay. Yeah. It looks delicious. Oh. You call this explosive umami, no? Phenomenal. Tastes like, you know, like Japanese curry, that kind of flavor oh, okay. profile. Okay, okay, I see. Really delicious. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, it's like curry, <laughs> Japanese curry. Explosive umami and your first mm -hmm. taste of marmite, no? 
Oh yeah, sauce. actually. <laughs> it's British soy sauce. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Aishi san Incredible. And the plate is just so beautiful. So this is Wagyu beef marinated in Marmite. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Stunning. <laughs> so good. So now we are, we have yakimono dish, mm -hmm. which yaki in Japanese means grill. I think, yeah, at Rockets, so it's really the closest you can get to kaiseki in yeah. Europe. Wow. That's beautiful, man. So beautiful. Right, so we've got lobster here. Uh, it's Cornish lobster, by the way. And we call it alareko age. So again, on this one, we have the shellfish, the lobster, yeah. being paired with that Saikyo white miso. Yeah. So it's that amplification, um, the glutamates in the, in the miso, yeah. and then um, those other nucleotides that, that come together with that, that miso to give it an even stronger yeah. umami sensation. Very much umami. Very much umami, <laughs> yeah. And again, like, there's really not much. There's maybe like a tiny bit of fat yeah. from the lobster, yeah. but tiny bit of acidity from the citrus, yeah. but really not much fat. Not much, yeah. Mm. Nice. The gohan, the rice goes, and this is the last savory goes. Which is yeah, very also nice. mushroom rice is very much umami rice. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Mushroom I'm, plus I'm using, oyster. I'm uh, like a fresh, uh, yeah. wild mushroom. is a glutaminate. And then uh, I'm using dried moray for stock. Uh -huh. Dried moray is uh, like a granulate, different amino acids. Yeah, so dried morel? Dried moray. And the uh, other mushroom is what? A fresh mushroom. A fresh mushroom. Fresh mushroom, mushroom is not granulate, yeah. uh, glutaminate. Glutamate. And the dried one, the moral, you get the granulate. Yeah. And then that's and then, uh, boosted with the oyster. Ichiban dashi. Ichiban dashi. Ichiban dashi has inoshine. It has uh -huh. three elements. So that's the kombu cooked in the dashi. Mm. So like umami on umami. Umami explosion. Mm. Is this how you would descri describe umami? Yeah. <laughs> I was just thinking if you gave someone this menu and they'd never experienced or they didn't, they didn't have the words for umami, by the end, they would be like, ah, I recognize that sensation yeah. in my mouth. Like the idea of it filling your mouth. Yeah. But also not being salty. Mm. Because I think lots of people know that, say, soy sauce has a lot of umami. Yeah. And they get confused between the salt component of the soy sauce or the miso yeah. and where the, and the umami component. Mm. Yeah. And a lot. Of I think so, yeah. This food isn't, you know, none of it's particularly salty no. at all. Can I have your napkin? Ah. <laughs> あの、ロケットではまあ、またもクリームも使いませんし。で、できるだけあの、体にえ、豚の内食事を心がけてるんです。それはやっぱり旨味をこう、活用することしかないんですよね。まあ、日本料理はその水の料理イコール旨味の料
So I think that's lots of chefs are now curious. About curious, that. yeah. Just thank you so much, Aisha San. Thank you so incredible, much. Incredible, incredible. Thank you. It was wonderful. Yeah. And congratulations again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was. It was a nice meal. That was Thanks lovely. so much for uh, yeah, sharing likewise. that. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, I had a great time. Yes. Me too.